Hey everybody, Paul O'Flaherty here. Know what you want to be. Have your goal. Because if you don't know what you want to be, it creates an awful lot of confusion for your customers or your clients and the message that you are putting out there. I'm a business and marketing consultant. It's what I do. It's what I talk about online. It's how I introduce myself to my customers. It's clear. It's simple. It's easy to understand. What do you do, Paul? Well, I'm a business and marketing consultant. What do you do? I help small businesses reach their potential. That's what I do. Very clear, very simple, very easy. But the reason not having a clear message is on my mind today is because of Google. Google actually launched a new app, Google Spaces. I don't know if you've tried it out yet. It's supposed to be a collaborative sharing space for small groups. Think of it as um, Pinterest, but with video and only within the Google sphere and everybody can comment and share it. A collaborative Pinterest or a collaborative Tumblr. You know, I've gone ahead and I've set it up. I've set up a board. Um, I'll probably set up a few more just to get a full grasp of it. But the problem is that I don't get the message behind this. I don't understand what it's supposed to be. Sure, it's small group collaboration. That's fine. But what's the goal? What's the end game? What's the usage case? There's no easy way to explain this. I sat down with Sarah for a while this morning and we were like, well, maybe we could start a family group and share stuff with all the kids. And I'm like, yeah, that's awesome, but it's not private. Okay, well, can we use it in the workplace? Could we like maybe have the marketing team have a board? And could we maybe have a general board for sharing around the office? And could we have this? And it's like, Oh, well, no, again, it's not private, so you can't do that. Okay. And I'm like, okay, so maybe I can use it as a podcaster, right? Maybe all the people who watch my shows can subs can be part of this group. I can invite them to this group, the ones who maybe comment most or whatever, and they can get awesome special content that I do only for them. Uh, no, you can't, because once somebody has the link, anybody can see the stuff. So it's kind of hard to find a usage case for this unless you're going to have some small group that doesn't really care if the stuff that they're sharing is public. But at that point, I find myself thinking, well, why can't it just be a Facebook group or a collaborative group on Google Plus or something else? Without that guidance, without that easy, clear statement of this is what it's for from Google, it's really, really hard to sell me on the idea of that product. I've put in way more work this morning trying to figure out what it could be and should be than is needed if you're going to have a product reach critical mass. Hello, Google. This is Google Wave calling. Once again, we've been down this road before. How this translates back to small businesses and solopreneurs and the whole lot is very simple. If you can't define your message, if you can't define really simply what it is that you do, and what your goals are, how can you sell that idea to a client or a customer? I'm Paulo Flaherty, and I help small businesses and medical practices reach their potential. What's your message?